Hey ladies and gents, it is Twanya Jean here with a grocery outlet haul. Um, Y'all, I just got off work not too long ago. And my husband actually, when he got off work, he was like, I'm going to go grocery outlet because the kids really loved, um, we had got um, some ch like chicken breast fillets and the kids really, really loved them. And we're, we only bought one bag. So he went and got some more bags of those chicken fillets because they loved them so much. So, yeah, and he was supposed to only go in there just for the chicken breast fillets. However, he saw some other stuff. So, he kind of went a little crazy and he spent $70 in the grocery outlet. So, he was like, oh, I'm going to save this stuff for, you know, um, for my wife. I'm going to leave it on the counter so she can do a little um, haul. So, we can thank Rob for this little haul I'm about to do of the grocery outlet. But if you guys have one in your local town, I suggest you check it out. They have, like, the best prices. Um, and let's see here. He spent $70.69. I'm trying to cover up where it says his debit information. I guess. Hold on, y'all. His... Balance 70 69. These are the items he got from the grocery outlet. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all what he grabbed. I gotta grab a drink, y'all, because I'm parched. I feel so dehydrated. And I've been drinking water and I still feel dehydrated. Y'all, I love green tea. If you did not know, now you know I love green tea. All right. So, first things first, he picked up two um, packs of strawberries. Um, they look really, really good. So, he grabbed two packs of strawberries. So, but I wonder how much were these? How much were the strawberries? Um, they were $2.99 a pack. I think that's similar to what Walmart is, or Walmart might be $3.48. Might be $3.48. So he got two packs of strawberries. And then he also grabbed, um, y'all, it was so funny for um, Valentine's Day. I had got Rob, you know, one of those big chocolate hearts. And Elijah kept eating his chocolate hearts. But then Elijah would put um, some of his Bueno bar inside to his dad's box. <laughs> he was like, you think my dad's going to notice? So, Elijah really loves the chocolate heart boxes. Alright, so he also picked up, he picked up Elijah these Sour Patch Kids little heart box. Um, so, he grabbed those for him. And then also, he grabbed two of the Russell Stovers. Probably him and Elijah will be eating these. But these are the little candy hearts that Elijah likes. So, he grabbed two of these. I know Elijah's going to be so happy over these little hearts. Um, And how much was the little hearts? I'm trying to look at the price for y'all. Where is it? Oh, the heart boxes were $1.49 a pack. And the Sour Patch... The Sour Patch box was $0.99. Cent. Um, he also grabbed these White Castle sliders. He grabbed these. And these um, were... I've never had these. I don't think he's ever had them either. The White Castle sliders were $4.99. So, yep, he bought these and you get... Does that say six? Yeah, you get six sliders. So, he grabbed those. He also grabbed, um, probably Elijah and Nugget will be eating these. He grabbed two cans of Chef Boyardee macaroni and cheese. Um, because Elijah can also pack stuff like this in his lunchbox. So, he grabbed these two. And, ooh, stuff is falling over. And I think the Chef Boyardee was $0.99. Cent. Um, he also grabbed a pack of eggs. Because we, I mean, we go through eggs like crazy. Their eggs look pretty good, too. Look really good. So, he grabbed um, the 18-count eggs. And eggs there cost, come on, 5 dollars 
Um, he brought, he bought these last time, so he bought some Coke Zeros, um, because I told him, you know, he, he, my husband loves drinking soda, but he gonna have to cut it, cut back on soda a little bit, just a little bit. So he got those Coke Zeros. He also picked up two more things of the Degree, um, body wash. This is the Lemongrass and Eucalyptus. This is the Icy Mint with Epsom salt. So we have these two things of degree. And I know these are $3.99 and they're big. The, um, this is 22 ounces. 22 ounces. So, yeah. But look, I didn't never smell this one. We already have two of these. But, oh, this smells refreshing. This lemongrass and eucalyptus. If y'all see this, get this if you like a refreshing smell. This is so good to use. Um, like, I think if you have, like, a cold, it has, like, that. Reminds you of menthol. That's what it reminds you of. But it has, like, a cooling feeling. Cooling sensation. Um, next thing he grabs. Look, y'all. Let me try to grab them all at one time. This is the chicken I was telling y'all about. These chicken breasts um, by Paradise Kitchens. These are good. When I tell you these are good... My 20-year-old, my son, said that these taste like Chick-fil-A breasts. So, yes. So, um, and you can put this, like, on your salad or make a sandwich, how they have it. But these are some good chicken breasts. Um, so, he bought one, two, three. He bought three packs of these chicken breasts. That's how good they are. And these chicken breasts cost, where is it? I believe these are $4.99, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're $4.99. These chicken breasts are $4.99. It's not that processed chicken, you know, like the Tyson chicken patties. No, this is real chicken breast meat. It is so good. So, so good. But, yeah, really, really good. So we have three of those. And then he also grabbed some popcorn chicken. And the popcorn chicken was $5.99. So he did grab, Elijah loves these. So he grabbed two packs of the popcorn chicken. It looks just like how you see it on the pack. But these are really good as well. Um, let me see if I can get a close up so y'all can see how it looks in the bag. But that's how the chicken looks. But y'all, this um, Spring River Farms popcorn chicken, it is good. Really, really good. So, I think that is everything. Like I said, this is a very small haul. It was, oh, I left out one thing. Oops. I left out one thing. Um, he also picked up this pretty candle. Because we love candles and wax and all some stuff. So, he grabbed this pretty candle. It says pineapple and papaya. And has notes of crisp apple, pumpkin, spicy cinnamon, clove, and creamy vanilla. So, yeah, it smells really, really, really good. You can definitely smell the pineapple. So, yeah, he brought this big old candle. But yeah, you guys, that concludes this haul. I hope you enjoyed this little small haul. It's not a big haul, just a little small haul. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and get my work clothes off because I have to cook dinner. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Love you so much. Um, and those of you who have not subscribed, come on now. If you're feeling my vibe, go ahead and subscribe. Alright, I will chat with you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.